Hi, I'm Mike Slatton, National Distributor for Keeper Balm. I want to show you today how I take care of my gloves, um, wash them, dry them, and then apply Keeper Balm for maximum longevity. All right, so the first thing I do is I run some warm water in the sink and let it fill up. I then take my gloves and I immerse them in it. Now I want to make sure that I get the gloves nice and wet, soaking wet. I want them completely immersed in the water. Now a lot of um, a lot of goalkeeper coaches, a lot of uh, glove manufacturers will tell you that between uses, you really don't need to wash them. Or if you've got two games in a row, the best thing you want to do is is just rinse them and um, just kind of wring the water out or squeeze the water out. But you don't want to let them dry. What I found is that by washing my gloves on a regular basis, if I've got a game on Saturday and then a game on Sunday, I'll wash them Saturday night. Um, make sure they're nice and dry, apply Keeper Balm uh, a couple hours before the game, and uh, they, they operate beautifully. The key to longevity for any goalkeeper glove is really just to keep it clean, but you really don't want to keep it moist. Uh, there are a lot of sprays out there that um, they'll, they'll tell you to spray the, spray the gloves and keep them in a moist towel uh, for, for use the next day, but the truth is, all that does is harbor bacteria and makes them stink. You really want to wash them, and dry them on a regular basis. As long as you're applying Keeper Balm, then the gloves will stay nice and pliable and loose and will always have maximum grip. Now there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of glove washes out there, but the truth is, I found that uh, BioClean liquid laundry detergent is the absolute best stuff. In fact, I will almost bet that a lot of those glove companies, glove manufacturers, uh, glove maintenance companies, whatever, uh, are selling something very similar to this and just relabeling it. Uh, what I like about this is that it um, has uh, none of the stuff that will destroy the latex in your gloves. It contains no phosphate, chlorine, ammonia, petroleum solvents, butyl, glycol, ether, uh, and a bunch of other stuff I can't even uh, say or read. Okay, so BioClean. In fact, I'll have a link in the video that will tell you uh, where you can get it through Amazon. Um, but it's, it's really rather inexpensive. And this thing will do 128 loads of laundry. And I want to say it's about $15, $16. So uh, you're, you're, you're much better off buying something like this than you are looking for the keeper washes or um, stuff that are really just a little more than this, um, if at all. All right, so I'm going to add a little uh, BioClean to the nice new clean uh, dish sponge here. And all I do is start at the bottom of the palm, work my way up and just kind of get all the dirt out. Same thing over here. And, and make sure you don't use the abrasive part on the um, on the latex. going to keep on just running it like the laundry, like the, um, the washing machine. Just kind of push the water through a little bit. I never wring. You never want to wring out the gloves because all that will do is uh, tear up your latex.
Now the purpose of drying out the gloves is to make sure that uh, you get all the moisture out and it keeps them from stinking. Nobody likes stinky gloves, especially um, people you live with. You might be able to, you might be able to, to, to live with it uh, yourself, but usually the people who you live with aren't very appreciative of your stinky gloves. Once you're done washing your gloves, you're gonna set up a little dry station. What I do first is I kind of let the gloves um, drain a little bit. You know, I try to clean, I, I make sure that all the, the water's uh, squeezed out of it first, out of each of the gloves. And then I might just leave them in the uh, dish strainer for a little while, just to let the, the water continue to drain. Then I set up my drying area. All right, and usually my drying area is actually already set up, but uh, just for the video, I'm kind of setting everything up right here. This is usually how it's set up though, um, but in another area that's a little bit more convenient. So once I get my, my fan set up, I have two special glasses that I put my gloves on, pretty narrow. I just slide the gloves over like that, wrap them around, and put them in front of the fan. And they're, they'll usually dry in about six hours like this. I usually put them kind of like facing each other a little bit so they get maximum aeration. There you go, that's it. So, a um, couple things. When you wash them, wash them with the BioClean. Don't waste your money on um, special washes promoted by, by, uh, by glove manufacturers or shoe manufacturers who sell uh, goalkeeper equipment and gloves. It's just a waste of money. BioClean is the absolute best stuff I've found. I've been, I've been uh, coaching goalkeepers for a decade. I've been playing goalkeeper for three decades. And I've been washing my gloves for, yeah, realistically, probably about two decades. So, um, you know, uh, this is the best stuff. I've got a link in the video. Go ahead and check it out. And it's real affordable and it will last you forever. And the thing is, it's also laundry detergent. So if you stop playing goalkeeper a decade down the road, you'll still have some of this left. You can use it for your laundry. Now, it's not as powerful as normal laundry detergent because it doesn't have a lot of phosphates and stuff like that. But anything that will destroy your latex is removed from this. This is it's dye free, fragrance free, uh, no phosphates, pure, natural. Um, in fact, I, I wonder how it cleans anything, honestly. So, but this is the best stuff, and this is really what most of the glove washes are selling. All right, so once your gloves are dry, you're going to uh, take some Keeper Balm and uh, apply it. Now, the, for, for best, the best case scenario is that you're applying Keeper Balm um, a full 24 hours before your next game. All right, that will give the the um, the oils enough time to soak into the latex, and all that's left is the the tacky top layer. All right, this will give you the absolute best results. Now, um, worst case scenario, you show up to the game, you're like, oh, I forgot to put on my keeper bomb, and my gloves are filled with dirt. Uh, well, you know, you know, the pores are filled with dirt, then you can uh, apply Keeper Balm right there in the parking lot. I mean, right there on the sidelines, whatever you like. It, it will have kind of an oily film though, um, but it won't really affect the performance at all. It's not like they're gonna slip through your hands or anything. You will just feel it. It won't be 100% tacky. But honestly, just washing your gloves on a regular basis will help them retain um, the, the, the grip that you like so much. The Keeper Balm just enhances it, just makes it tackier, just makes it better, and becomes a part of the glove. And I'm just going to um, apply it.
All right, and we're all done. Keeper bomb. It'll change your game.